Hey, I'm from the outer world. Um. We can just play this one. Yeah. Level three. I'll leave it at 15. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, the Halcyon Colony. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. of situations. Where guns aren't involved, just maybe I should fail. 
someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities. Oh, I do? Oh, wait, I have two points. <laughs> what? Um... Damn, this... <sighs> Fuck. I threw in around security. Fuck. Um... Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Def <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yes, I should pick someone likely to survive a hail of gunfire. Sous chef, scientist assistant, safety inspector, cashier, worker, farmer, janitor, food additive tester, hospital team mascot, medical technician. Discernible aptitude. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Um, clean that enough test tubes. Level zero assistant. I don't know which one to pick, honestly. I'm just gonna. I don't. I don't fucking know. I honestly don't know. Something about hanging electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow just makes you sigh with relief. Um. <laughs> um. I don't. I don't know. Honestly, I'm gonna pick no discernible aptitude. Good for you. Don't, Don't let the board tell you what you're meant to be. Okay. Gender. I am female. Uh... My head? Oh. Okay. Alright. Which one looks more like me? <laughs> Is red. <laughs> okay, um, she looks nice and innocent. Okay, maybe two. It's two, five. I think I like two. Jesus, she's pale. I don't know which one to pick. Mm. Maybe like right there, maybe? Mm. Right here? I think right there is good. Eye color is not red. It's not going to be red. Oh, that's nice. So 
Number nine. I'm gonna go with number nine. See, it looks pretty. Growl horizontal. I think the brow actually looks okay. I'm not gonna mess with that. Growl forward. I don't see anything. Is that? Eh. We're gonna leave it there. Growl vertical. Biggest eyes. Jaw, my jawline looks fine. Mouth size. No. <laughs> We're gonna leave that as it is. Nose size. My nose looks fine. Nose tilt. hate this hairstyle. What else? Ugh. That's not bad. Like, she cut her hair herself. No, I don't like it. Maybe this one. This is number 15. Mm -hmm. Alright, number 15 it is. Jesus Christ. Oh, she looks so nice and innocent. Look, she's so cute. Um, I can barely see the color. Doesn't even give the name of the colors, like... <laughs> oh. Red, maybe. That's number five. Ooh, all black. That's number 31. Put some purple in it. That's actually how my hair used to look. I think it looks better with the red, honestly. Eyebrow style, you can't even see him. Facial hair, no. Facial hair color, no. Features, makeup, oh. That's eyeshadow. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. My hair's covering most of my face, though. like freckles no like flush cheeks I don't know that looks like freckles yeah it is freckles I kind of like the freckles that's number 24 oh boy okay uh okay 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 I like freckles. It's cute. Dirt. Oh, oh, oh. Eh, no, not really. A scar. Can I give her a cool scar? Jesus. I can't see it. Ooh. No, no. Not gonna be a fucking try hard. 
That's pretty nice. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. Age? Old! <laughs> no. Um, next. Enter character name. Uh, just give her my name. What am I looking at here? Oh, there's a summary of it. Start game with this character. Yes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Is me? Did I come out of that? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably um. knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Um. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Um... Remember the Hope. 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Hmm. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Ah, you've landed. 
it good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing oh, thing. Ooh, Nasty way to go. What was that? Oh, look at that. What the fuck are these things? He's obviously a crouch, because, like, when is it not? get tired, do I? Oh! Oh my god! Sneak up on them? Am I... Oh, I see them. Frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Can I make that drop? Oh my god. Emergency medical inhaler? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Oh, what? we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Mm hmm Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. <laughs> Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Surprise. I have poor aim. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Um, okay. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Mm-hmm. Okay, goodbye. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Oh, 
Oh my god. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Jesus, what the hell? Oh! Oh boy! Wait, what? What the fuck? Combination complications detected. Medical time dot. What the fuck? Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Staying still drains your TDD meter very slowly while moving in attacks drain it faster. What? This slows down the world, but giving you time to think as well as take action. Oh, oh boy! What you got on me? Everything you got. <laughs> Wait, what? What? That I have no item in my inventory. Weapon management. You can have to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon and then selecting the weapon spot at the top of the screen. Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. skill. I can repair that. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Okay. Um. What did I? What did I get that was new? Oh. Journal. I guess I can't. Zoom. So I'm guessing I can't really repair this. Uh, I have a knife. No looker for me, thank you. I'm straight edge. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> oh, hacking and picking locks. Get you to places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Increasing your skill will lower the number of items you use and speed the process. Interesting. I don't have enough. What's that? I should take a look at it. 
Oh. Oh, that's the same guy. Oh. Is there like a... A takedown move? That would be great to use. Oh god! Are you serious? He eats headshots. Which weapons is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Ooh. That's the block. Is there a block with. No, obviously not. Why did I think that? You found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate and you blah blah blahs. That looks like. That's the exact same one that I'm already using. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Just realized something. Okay. This doesn't autosave? It looked like it didn't all save. It said to save game. I'm gonna save my game. Just to be sure. Because you never know. I don't want it to be a point where I die and then I'm fucking. Are you friends? Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Hello! Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Um... Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders <laughs> off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Um... Let's try you lying. think? See that Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go. I just earned a fine bonus. Wow, nothing. What the hell is that thing?
leveled up. Um. Okay. Every time you level up, you earn skills. Okay. So. I have. I have Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck. Um. And we'll give another to dialogue and stealth. What? Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Ah. Uh, sorry. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parts. Wait, what? Five, four, three, two, Did I fuck two, up? One. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? What? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Mm. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, 
The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Can I, oh. Pair of upgrade and modify your weapons. I don't have any mods, do I? Okay. <laughs> Skill perks and points available. I thought I just did that. Oh, wait, no, no, go back. Wait, what? You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. Uh, you go in health during your time outside the stasis. Uh, damage when alone, walk speed, sprint speed, weapons. <clears throat> carrying capacity. Okay, right now we're just gonna do health. How many do I have? I have one or two. I think I have two. One encumbered. Hmm. I do like fast travel. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? I didn't apply it. Attacking the correct type of target, they're automatically debilitated. Okay. Um. Where am I? Oh. Ooh, what's this? The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh no. Hello. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Um. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I had no idea oh we God, had an inspector worked. coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Oh. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Can you take it up, please? Bad guy? Is that a bad guy? I'm gonna stab him. Ooh. Oh shit, I didn't even see y'all.
Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. Mm. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hmm. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, Thanks, you should Marius. stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh... Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? <laughs> Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Okay. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? Um... You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say... Those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh... All my life, work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise, only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Hmm. Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh no, they are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Sheesh. All right, goodbye. Let's try to display this for you.
Um, okay. Hmm. Suspicious. Hello! Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Thanks. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Wow. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. <sighs> Much obliged. Okay. Oh. This kind of reminds me of Fallout. Okay, you can't go in there. Okay. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Okay. Cantina. You read the latest report? Hey, you. I don't know you. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Oh, you poor Guess thing. I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Mm-hmm. Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. 
Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Go ahead. Um... I don't see how that's any of your business. All right. You're the first to ask Explain. after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Mm-hmm. I don't think I have science right now. Don't I'll talk to it. me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, um, what's your story? <sighs> what's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. That's exactly the kind of crazy talk that comes from an overabundance of sobriety. Bitches. Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. Thanks. You look at it. I've got some time. What? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources.
Let me let me check the houses a little more. Mock apple juice? Sure, why not? Bread, cheese, noodles? I thought I heard someone sigh just now. Someone up here? Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. Just the way it goes, I suppose. Hello. That's the manager lady. What is this? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Mm-hmm. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? <sighs> Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Yes. Actually. He tried lying. Like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. 
I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for this me, I camera. could really use the help. Um. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work, that's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Um, what? I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Jesus. It is what it is. Town's got a limited supply of medicine. Medicine better spent on a body stronger and younger than mine. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. So you'll do it then? <sighs> sure. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. All right, calm it down. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. How long have you been standing there? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. W oh, wait a minute. Uh. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right, here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Hmm. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking. But sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. That's all I can ask of you. Sheesh. A fucking bell around your neck. It's sneaking around here and shit. Um. Let me talk to him again. Maybe something different will happen. What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Maybe. You may think that, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility. Alive or otherwise. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Go ahead. 
The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. See how that goes. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Okay. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas V. Wells. Interesting jumpsuit you've got. And by interesting, I mean suspiciously reminiscent of contraband. Um. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. Wh I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Turned my phone off. Uh, <laughs> Wish we had some better rations. I know how you feel. How do you? Okay, I was wondering how to like how to set it. That's a lot better. That's where I came in. That's that guy. Um. This is the main mission over here. Get him to pay? I, I can't. What can I do for you? A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. 
Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Go ahead. How do I get him to pay? I don't know. Him and him. How the f... Rent a barbershop. That's what I just want to talk about. Phyllis. Supervisor in the cannery. Wasn't I? Wait. What the hell was her name? Where's she at? Her name's Amelia. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Go right ahead. Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man, cut from church cloth, knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Mm -hmm. I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained. Inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word but is, why? I they're going to replace there. her with an auto mechanical barkeep. She's, what's the word? <gasps> oh. Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Wow. Okay, goodbye. Am I able to tell her? Like, hey, you're about to be replaced soon. Why? Why is she staring at me like that? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Eh. I'd be able to tell her. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. What the hell's over here? Oh. Hello.
There you are. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Excuse me? Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Wow. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Eugene wasn't family. No, oh, what? Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So <laughs> I pay the fines. Suicide's wow. a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Wow. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Wow, that's... that's something. Jesus. How do I get down? Hey, that's Silas. Wait. I don't know. What am I missing? Conrad. How the fuck? Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got him. Just between us? Holy shit. Wait, what? Did I go? Wait, no. Silas is over here. What the f what? I'm so confused. It <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go back in. I didn't realize. I thought I was going the right way. Wait, he's not inside. Where the hell is he? Oh, I see.
Okay. 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 What is this? Hello. Thank the law. Oh. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Bitch, I'm not here to work for you. All right. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Mm. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um. Go on. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with it. Oh, shit. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. I've been gathering up a war chest okay. over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly, some spaces chaw. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your. Mm -hmm. Persuade. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout. Prowling. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Ugh. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I midsections, okay. Let me go back to the guy. Are these houses? Are there people living in here? Can I go in here? No, I cannot. I don't know what I'm going to do about this Conrad guy, because he, he doesn't want to pay. He's, he's broke. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Mind your business. You run into any trouble? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. <sighs> well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Fine. What the hell's in here? steal anything just yet.
Hey, buddy. What can I do for you? Oh, never mind. Um. Close that door. Such an shot himself. This is bad company's got the call for it. What it is? Destruction of Spencer's Choice property. Wow. He was an asset, and somebody has to pay for his body price. It's gonna ruin us. I was thinking, we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. <laughs> what? Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? You can dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use bits to pay his body price, and nobody knows the wiser. Nobody's the wiser. God. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Interesting. So. Hi. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. There we go. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Mm-hmm. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. So, that Abernathy guy, he said he was taking it, right? So maybe he's suffering from a side effect. And I can just use that medicine and sell it to the girl instead. Instead of giving it to him, I think I'll do that. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask about that. Yeah? What a. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed Excuse to commend me? his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, 
I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Oh, thank God. Let me know if you find anything. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Hmm. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Wow. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Yes, you will. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Thanks. Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists. What got? Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. No, this is sounding like sedition. I'm not too keen on getting clapped in irons because you wouldn't stop running your mouth. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony... Okay. Something I can do for you? Uh, see you around. Wait, what? Reputation with the fact. Oh, I completely forgot about reputation. Huh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. How about this? Okay, so I'll just do these tomorrow. Let me save my game. Is it safe? Okay, save is complete. Alright, so yeah. I'll do more missions tomorrow.